special guest. She comes from the Santa Clara Valley Dental Hygienist. And after we do some stories, she's going to teach you how to brush your teeth really good. Okay? It'll be fun. And we have our little Mom, dog, Lucy. And Lucy wants to listen and watch so she can learn how to clean her teeth, too. Woof, woof. Ready to go, Lucy? Woof, woof. Okay, here she goes. We're going to open our usual way um, because I want it to stay as much as possible like we normally do. So let's open with hello, everybody. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here today. What do we do next? Sing the ABCs? Okay. <laughs> Can you sing out loud so we can hear it? Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Good job. And then we're going to do our little warm-up with a turtle. turtle tune today. Your turtle is your fist. Can you hold your fist down? And this is called a fox turtle because he keeps his house on his back like that. Looks like a box. So let's see what happens. I have a little turtle. He lives in a box. He swims through the puddles and he climbs on the rocks. He snapped at the mosquitoes. He snapped at the fleas. He snapped at the minnows and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Yay. Okay, so we're going to do a couple stories about teeth today. How old are you when you start losing teeth? Do you know anybody? Usually you're six, about six, is that right? Yep, that's right. So this little girl in this book is older than you are, and she's ready to lose a tooth. And her name is Tabitha. Let's see what happens to her. Every morning, Tabitha liked to finish off her breakfast with an apple. She took a big bite. Ow, she said. She had a wobbly tooth right there in the front of her mouth. She smiled at her dad, and her dad smiled back and said, You know, Tabitha, if you put that tooth under your pillow, the Tooth Fairy will take it and leave you something for it. Oh, that sounded good to Tabitha, but the tooth wasn't out yet. She wanted her tooth to come out right now. So she went upstairs to her room and she put some music on and she thought, well, maybe if I dance around a lot, I'll bounce that tooth out. So she danced and danced until she was so tired she had to lay down. Boom, she said, and she still had her loose tooth. Tabitha got dressed and went downstairs, and this time she tied a piece of string to her tooth, and then the other end went to her little tur tortoise or turtle, like we just saw. The problem was the tortoise took two steps and fell sound asleep. So he, could, he didn't pull long enough to get that tooth out. Then Tabitha went to the park and jumped high on the trampoline. She hoped her tooth might bounce out, but it didn't budge, not one little bit. Back home, she had another idea. Maybe her dad's Venus flytrap plant could become a Venus tooth trap. These are plants that eat flies and different things, so she was hoping it would eat her tooth. But a fly beat her to it. 
She stuck one end of her extra chewy bubble gum to her tooth and the other one to the door. But that didn't work either. She was fed up, she tried everything she could, and now she was just time, it was time for bed. She would see if the tooth fairy would come, but probably not. Then her nose began to tickle, and her eyes began to itch, and Floss, floss, floss your teeth every single day. 
Gently, 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 gently whisking plaque away. Rinse, rinse, rinse your teeth every single day. Swishing, 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 fighting tooth decay. Good job. Okay, it's my pleasure to give you Barbara Duncan, and she's from the Santa Clara Valley Dental Hygienist, and she's going to show you how to do a really good tooth brushing. Hi, guys. How are you today? Good. You guys are good? I brought my friend with me today. His name is Thomas. And Thomas is my dinosaur that I take with me everywhere, just like your moms take you guys everywhere, right? Yeah. Can you help me teach Thomas today about his teeth? You guys know all about teeth, right? Yeah. How many of you have been to the visit your dentist yet? Where you got your teeth looked at by the dentist or the hygienist? Oh, it looks like you did, huh? Good job. It's fun, huh? Yeah. If you guys haven't had a chance to go yet, you'll go pretty soon, okay? And you'll meet a dentist or you'll meet someone like me, a hygienist, and we're going to look at everyone's teeth. How many people know how many times a day you're supposed to brush your teeth? Is it one time? Is it two times? What about 50 times? Is it 50 times? No. No. Then you don't have time to play. It's two times. Two times a day. In the morning, right after you eat your breakfast, and what's the most important time? At night, right? Right before you go to sleep, you want to have nice, clean teeth. Well, my dinosaur friend does not know how to brush his teeth. So I brought his toothbrush tonight, and I was hoping you guys could give me some ideas. Do you guys brush your teeth every day? Yeah? Does your moms and dads help you brush? Sometimes, huh? Because when you're little, it's hard. Do you know how long you're supposed to brush your teeth? Two minutes. Two minutes. I knew you guys were smart. That's why we came here tonight. Two minutes you're supposed to brush your teeth. Boy, that's a long time, isn't it? Yes. Do you know how I teach Thomas how to brush his teeth for two whole minutes? We sing a song. And if you sing a song like the ABC song that Miss Barbara did, or the Row, Row, Row Your Boat song, you'll do it for two minutes, and that's how you brush your teeth. You guys want to watch while we brush Thomas's teeth? Okay. This time we're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, though. You guys know Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? Okay. So you guys sing along with me, and watch how it takes me one whole song to do the top teeth, okay? Ready? Twinkle.
Those are not healthy snacks. Can you guys tell me what some healthy snacks are? Dennis. Dennis. Who knows a healthy snack? Dennis. What's a healthy snack? I heard apple. That's a really healthy snack. That's good. And banana. Oh, bananas are good. Banana. Yeah. Orange. Oh, orange. Banana. Those are good. What about string cheese? Is that good? String cheese? Mm -hmm. And yogurt? You guys like yogurt? That's good. That's really good. What about carrots? Are carrots good for your teeth? Oh, yeah. Carrots are good for your teeth. So lots of fruits and lots of vegetables and lots of milk and cheese. That's the good stuff for your teeth. Can you have chocolate cake once in a while? Like if you go to a birthday party, can you have a piece of chocolate cake? Yeah, you can. But not every day. Not every day. What are some good drinks? Is soda pop or Cokes and stuff like that, is that good for your teeth? No. No. How come? Too much sugar, huh? It's too much sugar. It gives you a belly ache and it gives you cavities in your teeth. What about milk? Is milk good? Is milk good? Milk is good. Milk is good. Uh, not good. What about water? Is water good? Yeah, water's good and milk's good. And what about orange juice? Is orange juice good? Yeah. You are smart. You guys are the smartest kids I've talked to all week long. All week long. And do you know why you have to brush your teeth? Who's ever heard of a cavity? Do you know what a cavity is? If you eat too much sugar, then there's little bugs that will start eating all the sugar and live on your teeth. And if you don't brush them away, you know what they do? They poke a hole in your tooth. They dig a hole and they start to eat the inside of your tooth and you get a cavity. And sometimes those cavities can start hurting, so we don't want cavities, right? But if you do get a tiny little cavity, then you gotta go to the dentist and he fixes it for you. But the best way to avoid getting cavities. Okay, mommy, 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 exactly. We don't want to pass our germs, huh? And that's why we have to brush our teeth very well. And what about our tongue? I forgot about our tongue. Do we brush our tongue? Yeah, with a tongue cleaner. Yeah, sometimes you can use a tongue cleaner or you can even use your toothbrush. And just try to brush it. Tomorrow morning, try to brush your tongue and see if you laugh. You guys should laugh. It's funny. It's a funny thing. Do you guys have any questions? Do you have How any questions? How many teeth does a dinosaur have? This dinosaur probably has 32 teeth because he is almost an adult dinosaur. How many teeth do little kids have? 20. By the time you guys are about five or six years old, you'll have 20 teeth. And then all of a sudden they'll start getting loose and they'll come out. <clears throat> yep, and then you get to put them under your pillow and Tooth Fairy brings you prizes. And then when you're an adult, you have 32 teeth, if you have room. Sometimes your mouth's too little and you don't have room. I'm five. You're five? Yeah. You go to school? Papa. Go to kindergarten? Papa. Then I'm going to go Then you're going to go first. <laughs> you're lucky. <clears throat> so tonight, if you guys want, you can come up and you can brush my dinosaur's teeth. You guys can practice. And I'll help you if you want to. And then before you leave, I have a brand new toothbrush and some toothpaste for everybody, okay? So you get in line right after this little boy. And we're going to brush our teeth. And then there's a coloring book over there for you guys to take. And then don't forget.